got to fill that bond. <laughs> I can't believe Chris don't ever come up to you during the course of the day. Oh, man. Well, I was talking, there's this guy that, that works with us, and, and, you know, he listened to what we had done, you know, and that story just really, really su- sat with him. So he, Which one? The uh, Norwegian guy? Norwegian guy. Yeah. And so uh, so he goes, yeah, I was really thinking about just walking up to Joe <laughs> all ago <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> he goes, that would have thrown me off. Goes, <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that from We that. weren't in the bathroom, in well, all fairness. Well, <laughs> Well, this situation, and this guy's a big guy, you know, he's probably a little bit taller than me. Plus, I wouldn't have known if he'd have listened to it, yeah. so it just would have been coming out of left field. Well, he's, he, yeah. goes, he goes, I saw Joe in the bathroom, and he says, I started to walk up to him and say, hey, Joe, I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but there was too many people in there, and I didn't want it to get real awkward. No. <laughs> he could have wrote it on a note and slid it under the stall. <laughs> in his eyes and said again again <laughs> oh god listen i know there was more setup to it i just can't remember it because it's been so many years ago it's not like he didn't just catch me cold turkey i feel like we must have been talking about something sure but it makes it, but it makes but it makes it funnier to say that he just came up to me cold, cold turkey, turkey. <laughs> yeah and if and Tim's a little out of the loop on that, Joe, you go ahead and tell that story again. Um, oh, really? Yeah, because you know Tim's out of the loop on it. Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. I Uh-oh. wasn't here. I wasn't invited last week. Oh, so, shit. <laughs> yeah, it was a cool guy only. It's good. <laughs> so again, in the same place as where Daryl worked. Um, uh, there were some knuckleheads over there, to say the least. And uh, so I was working at this manufacturing plant, auto place, and this guy comes up huge big norwegian goatee the whole bit real quiet humble guy comes up to me out of the blue and he goes man dave i sure am horny and i'm like really (laughs) 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 but you get the fuck away from me (laughs) he wasn't real tall was he no he's a big guy big he's like six and a half feet tall big old dude yeah, he's going he to stand flat-footed and put it in your mouth. And he goes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so uh, he goes, man, I can't wait to get home. He goes, when I get home, I'm going to really fuck my wife. And that was out of character for him. He just didn't talk like that at all. He goes, what's that thing? What's that thing deep in a woman? He goes, that's what I'm going to hit. I go, I, I, I don't, the vagina? I don't know. He goes, no, I'm going deeper. The I go, tonsils? I go, the, <laughs> the, the uterus? He goes, no. Deeper. I'm going deeper than that. I go, fuck, dude, you're scaring me. I don't know. Her, her spinal cord? <laughs> I go, the fallopian tube? Is that what you want? <laughs> he goes, that's what I want. I'm going to fuck up those fallopian tubes. <laughs> I go, God damn. Wow. So, that guy, I said, listen, take the rest of the day off, huh? Just yeah. take the rest of the day off. Or better yet, I'll take the rest of the day off. Shit, I'm going to... I done fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the gist. Oh, it, yeah. Right? Now, and I will tell y'all something, and it's good that you just did that. This is Hang on, is my microphone okay? I yeah, feel like it's no, okay. You're fine. Oh, you're good. When you get on stage, and if you do fuck something like that up, don't tell them you fucked it up because they don't know. Yeah. You know yeah. They don't have the book. They don't know if you yeah. fucked it up or not. You yeah. just roll into whatever, right? And whatever happens, never say, boy, this is a tough crowd. Mm. Oh. I did that one time, and there's some bitches will eat you alive. I bet. You Did they say it at that amateur one? Did one of those guys that say we it? all went to at Comedy Club? I don't. Yeah, I don't think anybody. No, 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 no. no. I didn't go to the. I didn't go to the. The Comedy Club one. Yeah, oh one. no, 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 not that one. The one, the one that you were in, Club in. South. Yeah. yeah. Oh they, no, I don't think. Remember. Well, I th- yeah, I think the guy got up and told that story. That started funny. cussing immediately. Yeah. The, the drunk guy. What was his name? Oh, oh yeah. Mountain Brook. Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. I think Eddie said that. Yeah. He. I never heard of that know. guy. I, to be honest with you, it was so fast, I went down. Oh, he's the guy that was in and out so quick? Dude, I, I, oh, yeah. I he stepped He told one story, got the hell yeah, off. Yeah, dude, I stepped down two steps to say something to, say something to somebody, and, and before I turned around, Tim's back up there saying, all right, we're having like, <laughs> he was telling Joey. You yeah, know, he's the guy that come in, he's like, man, I got 20 minutes worth or 25 minutes worth of material, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm like... <laughs> Damn, this was a mistake. I didn't even fucking <laughs> practice this at all. I'm fucked. It's here in about 10 minutes. And, and then did. Chris is like, well, we're going to wait, you know, about an hour before. I'm like, all right. So then I start cramming. I'm like, fuck, I need to. And, and I'm, I'm cramming. And I'm, I'm like, okay, maybe it was like. And then I'm just seeing him over there just studying. I'm like, oh, fuck, this is a mistake. Maybe I should 
no, no, I got to finish this. And, 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 uh, so then, yeah. And he but it was story, about and it was he, like a minute and a half. Dude, and he was if gone. that, if that, it was, it was one, it was one it was an little awful joke. joke. Yeah, just got it, scared. It was awful. a dad joke. But it, but is that what comics do? They try to psych well, each other not, out like they're going into a fight with no, each no, other? No, or? No. First one, well, he was doing a good job because <laughs> up until then, I hadn't even looked my shit over. <laughs> let's, let's put a strict disclaimer on this. This guy's not a comedian. <laughs> and, 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 I didn't Was know that, that his first show? <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. and he was just... He's a regular at the place, and he just he was already hammered. Yeah, he's been, dr- <laughs> he's been drinking since six o'clock that morning. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he'd already, he he. So he wasn't established. No, 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 no. Oh. He's he's a regular at the place, and and he's like, oh, y'all having an open. He's mind. not established in his neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, he's yeah. not established. Yeah, he. <laughs> well, he was quick to tell you he didn't live in that part of town, he, or he yeah. wasn't from that part yeah, of town. Yeah, he's from what, Arkansas or somewhere. Or? I can't remember, but yeah, you know, he lives Kentucky. He's from yeah. somewhere in Kentucky. He lives in an affluent area right now. But apparently, he wanted to reiterate that that's not where he was born yeah. and raised. He was born and raised more out out in the woods. Yeah. yeah. But it was so funny because he <laughs> he looked at Joe and told Joe he had all this, and Joe's like, "I'm about to be embarrassed." Yeah. yeah. And he fucking does a myself. one one joke. <laughs> <laughs> we saved the dude for the last. We oh put really? Him, yeah. We put him last. So like, well, shit, oh, I man, thought he was the starter. No, he was. He was. No, he was the closer, and it didn't work. Well. <laughs> Oh my God! We we had it we had it damn near hundred percent backwards because yeah Joe started Joe should have closed it. Joe no, somebody have... else two people started the oh what's uh, what's her name started didn't uh, she charity yeah charity, yeah. yeah charity and yeah then, she then, called yeah, you yeah, I didn't talk to her okay about mm-hmm. the show I didn't know uh, yeah Coming I was up. curious no, about that myself no I, no, yeah. I just posted it last night it was first yeah. first thing but uh but no uh, you're right because I was so excited that you beat the brakes off that one guy and uh, I was just glad I wasn't first at the time. Because I wasn't ready. <laughs> me too. And, and, and me too, because it just made your show, for me, it just made your performance that much better. Oh, yeah. well, what were you, second? Third. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. Just had four, didn't we? Yeah, we just had four. four. But, man, oh, if you ever just see, you ever see somebody lose at something and you are so happy, I know it's a sick, sad thing to do. Oh, yeah. No, i you just look there. at it and you just <laughs> smile because this oh. person failed. Yes. And it's just. And, and this guy is so cocky. He won't go do an open mic unless he gets paid for it. And I, and oh, I you're asked. you talking him, about the big guy. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. said, Are you kidding? I said, Man, I can remember when I got into business. You would call comedy clubs, and they said, well, we can give you a guest spot. And you might have to drive to South Carolina to do a fucking guest spot. Damn. And that's you putting yourself up. You're paying for everything. You do eight minutes, and you drive back home. God damn, for eight minutes of work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, because you're trying to establish yourself. But if you yeah. get in that club, most of them, once you come off stage, if you've done well, they'll take you in the office and give you a week. Mm-hmm. So you'll get that money back, mm-hmm. you know, uh, especially if you're selling merchandise, you'll make that yeah. money back. Well, it goes but back to pay for to performance, it right? I mean, you're, yeah. you're basically getting, you know, you're, you're showing you're worth your, worth your way. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a, it's a, it's gotta be fucking horrible tough, but, but you oh, know, it is. but yeah. you're talking about a, well, it's the same as a welder, you know, my stepdad, he'd have to go out and drive all the way to whatever state, how many states away, and then, uh, take a welding test before he can, no matter how many years he's been doing it take a welding test and sometimes you bust a test yeah so. yeah yeah so. i mean you know you make it you don't yeah so i mean it's 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 rough and i mean you, you just have to be good with your way now sometimes you, know? you get club owners that work you and they like you mm-hmm. right bruce and he would call he called up in uh chattanooga and got me in with michael alfano he said look guy's killing it down here he'll be good and i went up there and worked you know didn't have to do a guest spot right cool. uh he brought me in, I think, as a feature. But he goes back. But you'd already proven your wares, so though. You're, yeah. You've already done what you were describing. You know, you've already, yeah. you know, you've already shown that you you've got something to work with. And here's a good thing about y'all two: when you get going in this business, and you're you're MC, and and even when you're featuring, there's a club in Alabama that I can't really work because I'm not willing to drop down to opening act to go do it. But there's a really nice comedy club up in Huntsville now. Mm. I got friends up there. Yeah, and it's owned by Bruce has a part of it. You know, it's got like three or four club owners or I know Hef's in with it, mm-hmm. Michael Alfano's in with it, the guy that owns the funny boners, four or five, but and they bring in big name comics, which is good because but they bring in no name <laughs> opening acts because they don't want to pay big money for that. So they'll bring in, you know, uh road comics on mm-hmm. feature and opening and, and bring locals. in the big guy. Yeah. So uh, y'all could work that club. It's you know? a big club like Stardom? 
It ain't as big as the Star Dome. It probably holds about 180 people, but I've seen pictures of it. It's really nice. And I've talked to comics that work it, and they love it. So the yeah. crowds are always good. They're big, and, and they know how to watch comedy. And Huntsville's getting to be a extreme. Well, over the last 15 years, it's yeah, just really gotten time. to be a big-time place. Yep. I and mean, they're growing leaps and bounds. And, and, and the thing about it is, is I mean, you're, you're talking about people with – money you're not a lot of knuckleheads yeah. you know because of the tech industry and whatnot so yep. you know those people they're not going to be the ones that are in my opinion going to be shit face drunk you know rolling in that they're <clears> going to <throat> have to be drug out of there they're going to be you know it's going to be they're either going to like you or not but you're not probably not going to get heckled heckled yeah you know yeah and you got chattanooga right up the road too you know if you ever yeah. and that's, that's a not, beautiful club. that's not yeah. far man. that's what two and a half hours max you know two and a half hours, yeah. yeah so you know that's <clears> that's an easy that's an easy run hell i was driving up there Every week for a year, working some work up there. So I leave yeah. out. What was so. her name? You. <laughs> I can't tell <laughs> her. <laughs> I mean, for the last two weeks, I've been driving two, two and a half hours every day for work. I mean, yes. it's ridiculous each yeah. way. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So. yeah, I'm going down to South Alabama, down Mississippi some. Yeah. I had to get some of that. Uh, <clears throat> I've been falling asleep. So I had to stop and pick up a pack of that two chews. You read that gum? No. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's I mean, another story. That's that another shit. story. What the I hell mean, is that? Oh, man? it's only got flavor for two chews. You throw that shit out, and your little fingers are so busy unwrapping the next <laughs> next piece. <laughs> I've never heard of it. You get it at a truck stop or something? Oh, no, that's what I call it. No, that's it's what that he old... was being funny, but oh. that's what threw me off, too, because I was like, two chews, what the fuck is that? <laughs> but, you know, two, two chews and it's done. Yeah. yeah that's but, a good name. I like so, it. I, I, I was saying, I was like, I'm a catchy name. I yeah, like it. I tried to go ahead and get that. Yeah. <laughs> two chews. No, but you got to steer with your knees, unwrap your little gum, two chews, <laughs> out, <laughs> next one in, <laughs> grab keep, the next one. Keeps and you busy. Yeah, you and mean. you're just rotating through the whole one-pound bag of gum. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the, you get home, you dig a ditch with a teaspoon. What the fuck? <laughs> if you ever fall asleep, remember that. Just get you some old two chews. Any of that old shitty ass, hard ass gum. Yeah. That is fun. So, Tim, I was thinking about I told you there was a story I wanted to tell you. Hopefully, I'm not blowing it out. We're blowing everything out on the first, uh, hey. first thing together. But you worked a lot of. Uh, you worked a lot of cruise lines, stuff like yep. that. So years ago, years ago, hell, you may have been on the cruise, but years There's ago, a, good chance. A, a buddy of mine that I used to hang out with a lot, he, he went to them on a cruise and with some family and whatever. And, you know, he just like us, you know, not affluent at all. You know, he's not, you know, some high end guy, but he just went with his family and, and there, he ran into a bunch of girls that from Notre Dame. So he's all fucking excited. You know, he's like, you know, I think he's mid-20s, whatever. So he's hitting on these girls. And, you know, they got the dance floors, you know, different clubs on the, oh, on yeah. the cruise. So he's out there, and he's dancing with these girls. And his problem that he run into is when he's nervous, he starts drinking a little bit to, to build his nerves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So oh, it's that liquid courage. That liquid courage, yeah. you know. And these girls are all Ivy League girls. And he's, you know, he said because when you're, you know, when you're on the cruise, and you're assigned to a table to eat your dinner, you don't know who you're necessarily going to be, yeah. you know, sitting with. And that was his end. You know, he sat there with his family and other stuff, and these these people got assigned to the same big table or whatever. And so that was his way of breaking the ice and, and getting to talk to these girls. So he's he starts pounding these drinks a little bit because they're talking about going dance, and this guy can't dance for shit, you know. And he's, so he's drinking, drinking, drinking. So they end up in the club, you know, and it was, you know, dance clubs. So you know, music. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. all in, you know. Well, when he was a kid, he, he fucked up and wrecked a go-kart and messed a tooth up. Okay. <laughs> so he had a, what they call a flapper, you know, the little, <laughs> these are the ones that just, that's just sit in there. Yeah. Well, you know, flappers, if you're not careful. They'll you know, come out. They'll come out. So he said, he's out there dancing. He said, I'm doing doing the best I could do, man. He said, I was getting it, getting it, getting it. And the girl spun around, and, you know, she's backing up to him, and she's just going at it. And he says, I can't remember if he says he sneezed or something happened. All of a sudden, <laughs> there, goes that a fucking, there goes that fucking tune. And it just <laughs> stubbed her hair. No, hit the fucking <laughs> dance floor. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, now you got to recover it. Yeah, so yeah he, that's probably expensive. So, he, got, so he goes into instant, and it's his front, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 
So he goes into instant panic mode, right? And he's like, oh, shit, in his head. So he basically dances her out of the way, and he's taking off looking for this damn tooth, and he <laughs> sees it. Well, everybody's dancing. All of a sudden, this person kicks a tooth. It goes the other way. He's like, oh, shit. So he's making his way through the damn, you know, crowd. And it wasn't a huge dance floor, but, you know, trying to – Trying to pick up something the size of a penny, getting kicked around. It's pretty damn. Penny's got how many teeth? What the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Son <laughs> so, of a bitch! Hey, horsey! <laughs> so, well, <laughs> so six oh, teeth on the yeah, top yeah, rope. That's a damn bridge, eh? <laughs> So what kind of people are you <laughs> hanging out with? Look at Benny's head. They're big. So anyway, he's, he's, running, he's running, running. And finally, he scoops that son of a bitch up off the ground. He said he was so nervous, right? He scoops it up, didn't even miss a beat, pops it right in his mouth. Oh, it just pops in? Yeah, it just clips right oh, in. Oh, wow. And I that's what, that so. Yeah, so he just grabs it and he pops it right in and works his way back to the girl. He said she was so drunk, she didn't even know he was gone. <laughs> so he I'll ended up dancing down. himself right into it. So he oh, goes from Mountain Brook to Savory Camp in just a second. That's how two miles out when the banjo starts playing. What the hell? Damn. Oh, that's but the Uncle Daddy and Aunt Mama sitting oh, right over there. That's right. Man, when he told that story, I laughed and laughed. But he's got one more. One more story on that same fucking cruise. I, was, I told him, I said, whatever you spent on this cruise, it was worth the money. Okay. He now, what cruise young? line was it? <sighs> can't remember man it's been so wasn't long wasn't carnival ago. was it probably i don't know it's been years and years i don't think ago. they have a sign table <laughs> sign table <laughs> well whichever place does it, and but this next story same cruise man is amazing so he's sitting in there same damn night same fucking dance club after he's you know got past his his emergency you know he's he's calming down you know he's trying to slow it down a little bit well he noticed there's this guy dancing with this girl and they're just getting fucking wild right and he's got this girl, guy's dancing, and the girl jumps up, wraps her legs around him, and, they're, and he's just kind of swinging her left and right. He takes the girl, and he goes to swing to dip her, bounces her head right off oh, the fucking yeah. floor. That's good stuff. Bam! Right? Knocks, Knocks her, her the fuck out, oh, dude. Damn. She just limps out. And, he's, and of course, he sits her down, and, and every, <laughs> everybody sees it, right? So the whole damn, <laughs> whole damn crowd just kind of stops, you know? It's like, oh, shit. And the you know, music dies down. <laughs> all they, eyes on Yeah, all, all eyes. Everybody's just <laughs> zoomed in on this girl because she is just laid out. Oh, yeah. Right? And, and so, of course, the, the, they call the EMT guys that are on board, and they come, and they're checking her out because, A, she's drunk as shit, obviously. And then she gets her head crowned against the damn hardwood oh, yeah. floor. Body slammed so on the as, floor. And, and my buddy was sitting there. He says, of course, he's back a little ways. And he's watching what's going on. And he's and he says, everybody's looking at the girl, but he's keeping his eyes on the guy. You know, just seeing what the guy's doing. And the guy just starts backing up into the crowd. He melts into he the melts. crowd. <laughs> He he just, so he's obviously not with this girl as yeah. far as you know came on came oh on things. So he just, he melts into the crowd. He 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 disappears, and of course they take the girl off, take care of her. And 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 my buddy was like, "Damn, that was just crazy." Yeah, he just he literally just like a chameleon. Oh, yeah. He's guilty. Holy shit! Well, the next day he said they pull into one of whatever port, whatever, right? And he's and. My buddy's walking down the little, you know, plank, you know, where they got, where they pulled in, and there's the fucking guy, and he's talking to a girl, a different girl. My buddy walks by him and says, "You'll be all right as long as you don't go dancing with it." <laughs> Why are you down <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking, you say, oh, "Man, some crazy shit must happen at the happen oh, cruise line." Oh. You know, I was in the bar one uh, down at the crew bar because we're not allowed to go in the regular bars when you're working the ship, and I'm talking to this guy from Florida, and he's an investigator. And I said, well, what, what do you do? He said, I get on the ships. He said, we investigate jumpers. Damn. He said, last year, uh, the carnival had like 29 jumpers. I said, you're well, shitting. To commit suicide? Yeah. They get on the ship. He said, one lady got on, didn't even have no luggage. Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a three or four day cruise. You know, that bitch going to be stinking if she ain't jumping. It's yeah. way to go. Uh, so, but, but they say that everybody that's done it has been on medication for depression. Mm-hmm. And when they get out there, it's very peaceful. And they get out there sitting on the deck, and it's very peaceful. And, and they get to a point they hadn't been to in a while because they're so fucked up in the head. They don't want to leave. They just fucking jump. That's crazy. And I said, you're kidding. He said, no. He said, it happens all the time. He says, and, and see, the ship don't turn around and go back and get you. Yeah. You jump, you're fucked. Most of the time, the fall's going to kill you because it's 100 foot up. 
Yeah. Oh, so they don't put the brakes on and uh-uh. say, let's look for they don't Tim. Have a little boat you, that they drop uh, they'll call they in. Know. No, they'll call in Coast Guard. Hey, some fucker jumped. Damn. Wow. But there's a good chance you're going to go off, go under the boat, go through the propeller. So yeah. you're just chum anyway. You're chummed up in the screws. So there's wow. no reason to go back. Yeah. Really. Yeah, so blow that he time. says, yeah, they're on this medication for depression. I said, damn, I'm going to go home and buy my ex-wife a fucking cruise. <laughs> <She's only laughs> yeah, there's some crazy stuff that goes oh, yeah. on there, and man. All the time, man. They're I guess just... as long as you're not shitting in a Walmart bag and leaving it in the hallway, you're good to go, huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's Was that a carnival? Yeah. Wasn't that a carnival where it... Uh, all, they lost all power and they were oh, yeah. out oh, yeah, of yeah. that was oh, the, like, yeah. that was the one shit. that I used to take all the time out of uh, Galveston and when I got out of the business and got off the cruise ships two weeks later that same ship that went out down there uh, it's the one that got stranded and I'd have killed every son of a mm. bitch on that ship if Man. I'd have been on it because we got out there one time and got fogged in couldn't come back and for four days we had to go eight miles offshore where they could sell liquor and gamble and do fucking donuts in the goddamn ocean <laughs> just to wait to come back yeah Damn. and and then i missed another date because i was supposed to fly home and then go out of town again to oklahoma city so i missed that date because i'm stuck on a fucking ship well you can call in that though you, you have communications not really not really no <laughs> you, you i call my wife you know i had to well you you get a card and you can go to your phone and you try to get on if all them motherfuckers from other countries that work there ain't on the goddamn phone you know <laughs> get the fuck off the phone you know they don't know what you're saying so you have to phone kind of check. get in yeah. at a good time yeah, yeah and you call home maybe if the phone lines not, it's like a damn party line you know yeah, it's yeah. either busy or it's not so i called her and had her call the club so he's stuck out at sea he can't fucking come in so damn yeah it sucks yeah. it's not it's not what people think, man, he's on cruise. That's that's great. That's vacation every day. That's wrong. <laughs> they put you in the basement, brother, down there with the cemetery crickets, and you're down down there with everybody else. We're eating down goat heads and now, shit. What kind of rooms did you just have? Oh, it's like a closet. Yes, it's like the color of a brown paper bag. Oh, and it's just awful. You go in there and you you're in the shower and you're like this, and you turn around, and your knee hits the toilet. I mean, it's all real tight. So it's not glamorous at all. Not glamorous at no. all, no. Shit. <laughs> no, my brother had always pushed me into going into that industry. He said, man, you should be a bartender on a cruise ship. And he pushed me hard to do that. And he was very he was very frustrated that I didn't put more effort into it. He wanted you to get him free cruise rides. <laughs> I, I don't know, but it was, I know for years and years they talked about it, him and his wife, and I, I didn't do it. But uh, he's talking about all the women that, you know, you could meet and, and oh, everything. They, they frown on that but, shit. But though. see, you can't, yeah, if you work the ship, you can't do it. Uh, we had a rule that if, uh, you, like, if you were on a cruise, y'all were on a cruise and y'all were going to be on my cruise, I could hang out with you at a bar. I can't take a seat at the bar because I'd be taking a seat from a paying customer. I could stand at the bar. You could buy me a drink from the bar, but I can't buy a drink from the bar. I have to go to the crew bar to get my drinks. And if you say, let's go back to the room, I cannot come in your room. Yeah. You know, I can't come into your room. Yeah. I have to stay. If I go into the room, the because ne- there, hell, there's cameras everywhere. The mm-hmm. next port, they'll put me off with my flight information. Get the fuck out of oh, here. Oh, really? That wow. fast? I've seen it. I've Dang seen plane. it. Yeah. Damn. A buddy of mine, uh, I won't call his name, but he was on the cruise with me, and he met this girl. And he said, man, I'm going back to the room. And I said, you better not. I said, you read that damn handbook they give us, man. They'll run you out. Oh, they won't fucking know it. It's going to be late. They won't fucking know it. So we go from this port. The next day we go to a port. They knock on his door. Here's your damn information. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, really? Get your well, they forget get that you forget gone. that they hire people that are specifically sitting there watching every fucking body. Yeah. That's their, that's their gig. You know. And then you're probably banned from that cruise line. Oh, right? yeah. You won't work again. And then he's calling me. Man, can you believe that? I said, I told you, you stupid bastard. I told you before you did it, it was going to happen. I mean, you can't do it. They they know it. You know, it's like what people we used to work with want to get away with all they can fucking get away oh, yeah. with until they get caught. And then I can't believe it's something you fired me for that. You know? Yeah. So Don't it's not like it. the bartenders on cruise lines aren't just banging every no, smoking hot. They can't do it. Huh. Can't that do would it. be almost more frustrating because you get a now, bartending job down here and you can, but you, you, you get to know the people that work on the boat. You can do that, you know. Like like uh, uh, we they put us in the section on the boat in the bottom 
with uh, with all the dancers that oh, were in the yeah, that gets shows. You, trouble. you know, the show. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get in their britches, hell, nobody cares. You're down there in the same little area. You yeah. know, you got the same laundry mat right down the damn hall there, and everybody runs into each other. Get you, you know? a little cruise line, honey. Oh, mm-hmm. little cruise line cat. Yeah, I never <laughs> did, but uh, <laughs> we'll be clear of that. But, <laughs> but a lot I'd, of people did. I would know? end up in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot I mean, of us would. But you could, you know, I guess you could, if you got off at a port and you met some old girl on the boat and y'all wanted to go, Somewhere or something, yeah. Yeah, and do it in the beach. Nobody's going to know Port that. John. But you can't do it on the boat. Yeah. Hmm. Do it. Yeah, you'd have to be patient. <laughs> and see, now your situation, if you got on there as a uh, bartender, those guys have to sign like a nine month deal. They're on that fucking boat for nine months. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. There you go. Comics, we, like we didn't fun, have man. to do that. Yeah, we, y'all. we were week to week. Sometimes we'd do two weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, you never oh, did more do. than two weeks. I don't think I'd want to do more than oh, two weeks. Like you, nine months, I'd blow my head off. Boat, man. No, piss on that. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing fun about that. But do they get good tips and all that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you. I mean, if you make, if you're all about the money, surely you make good. Yeah. Oh, they make good money, yeah. But I, uh, you know, I would uh, when our, we would fly in to uh, George Bush, you know, in in uh, in Houston. Then we'd have to take a bus down to Galveston, which is about an hour. So anybody working on the ship, we'd all get on the same bus because it's the carnival bus taking the workers down, not the people going on the cruise. Uh, so you'd meet people. You know, this guy's, hey, our band's coming on, and we had to sign on for six months or nine months. or, You know, and they make good money, but, man, there's no way. It's a floating yeah. prison, brother. I don't want to be is. I, don't I was on an aircraft on carrier for two weeks, and that thing's freaking huge. There's 5,000 people on it. There's an ATM machine, a movie theater. And an ATM four, machine, really? Four oh, yeah. places to oh, eat we had, 24 we hours a day. And I was about to go nuts. I didn't know there was a movie theater yeah. on an on a aircraft carrier. Dude, I, I was on a guided missile cruiser, and we had two ATM machines. Huh. Yeah, but it's, it doesn't link to anything off that boat. What you do is you have your money put on what they call a ship's account, uh, and they hold cash oh, yeah. on the ship, so you can pull your money... <laughs> And, and I bust a lot of Navy guys' balls on this one, but, you know, a lot of those guys, when you do your paycheck, you can split money that goes to your bank account and split money that goes to, to your ship account. And, you know, the wives don't have, or husbands, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the ships are co-ed now. But, you know, that money right there, you know, nobody, you, can, you don't have access to that money from off the boat. So guys would use that as their little, uh, little squirrel, squirrel nest. They'd send yeah. that money to the ATM, and it'd just sit there. Mm. It's always there, you know. I mean, you can you can let it, you know, bank oh, roll up pretty good. It don't draw interest, of course. It don't draw interest, but your wife ain't spending it either. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna so, be more expensive. Than absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so, they charge you a fee to get no, that? no, no. And the reason why they do the ATM like that is because it you know beats the guy you know sitting behind the damn little cash window you know trying to get you know taking his fucking day up. But right, and the ATM's twenty four seven. You know, you just go there and. You know, they make sure the, the ATM machines are full of money and, you know, just do it. And, you know, yeah. yeah, that way you don't have to worry about getting hit with a fee, too, when, like, if you're overseas and you go to the ATM machine out, out in town, wherever you're at, you know, and they don't pay you that from overseas fee, you know. Bangkok. Bangkok. <laughs> yeah, <there you> go. <laughs> but, yeah, you can bankroll some money up here. A lot of guys would do that. Yeah. You know, hide that money from the, from the significant others. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So. Well, now we know. It's out. It's out now. They're busted. Yep.